I don't know why, but I feel like the first couple episodes I did this week were really bad, and I've gotten a little bit better. It's always hard to start. Because it's been like it's been a week since I've really said anything out loud, so it's hard to start up again. Um, Keep your eyes peeled. I guess my my real goal for this is that it, at the end is to to see a, to feel comfortable going to a therapist comfortable talking because I feel like if I went right now I would just sit there for an hour and, and not be able to say anything but maybe this will make me more comfortable um, I care a little bit less about it costing so much I think I have a health care thing. Maybe it's covered. I don't know. So that's the thing. I'd also have to ask my parents about it, so. Which would be hard. Um, there's some, there's another I wrote down a while ago. I don't know if I can explain it well now. Um, there's something that happens when like a kind of nerdy, uncool person grows up and they um, they become like a boss or um, they just are treated normally um, I don't know how to say this but they still kind of they view themselves as like a nerdy underdog and so they do, they can do bad things without realizing it. Um, so I, I guess I wanted to try to think about that because I think it might, could happen to me if like I become normal later or even now I could hurt people um, and not realize it. Um, I don't know if I have... I guess, I guess you never view your you you view yourself as like this nerdy guy who nobody thinks about her or cares about her or respects. But like if you become a boss and you're in charge of somebody's job, people do think about you that way. Um, it's hard to explain. You think they'll join us? I think I listen to a podcast called Harmontown a lot, and I think I got the idea from that. Um, the guy Dan Harmon. Um, I think he talked about it and explained it better, because he he was kind of a nerdy guy. Um, but he became like this big show creator. Um, 
and then he had this thing happen where like he he put one of his female workers in an awkward position because like he liked her and whatever I don't know I'm not I'm not gonna be able to explain it right but like he was a bad person and he didn't realize it so I just don't want that to happen to me but I'll have to think about it more Whoops. I'm not going to edit that out. Editing is a lot of work. I don't know if I'll even upload anything this week. Because that stupid bracket thing will take up a lot of time and I have to do a I'm gonna do a fantasy baseball thing so that'll take time I like that they put these kind of puzzle stuff in here. No wait there. So it's not just like shooting, cutscene, shooting, cutscene, but I don't know. They're not the best puzzles. I think there's something underwater. I have to use my system to brain for this one. Oh. I wrote down a bunch of notes about the books I read, but it was a long time ago, so. I don't know if I really... Oh, there it is. Uh, I just saw one. Henry, give it a shot. Um, right. Loss aversion ratio. Um, prospect theory, reference point. What is that? Mean? That's something I guess is kind of obvious, but like people, I'm gonna have a look. Keep an eye out. people will are more averse to losses than gains. So if you say you lose ten dollars if this thing happens, then you'll have to say you gain twenty dollars if it doesn't happen or something. What is it like? I guess it's kind of an obvious thing, but there were just like some studies that people did, and I think it was, it's like a two to one ratio. We haven't seen one of them in a while. for sure gonna kill me. Oh. 
Whoops, 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 whoops. Can I close this door? <laughs> uh, This isn't the right way either. There must be a pallet up here somewhere. I was watching an episode of Game Grumps and they mentioned the that that beer commercial that like um it's the Ann Ann Twins commercial and I kinda of forgot about that. I remember seeing it when I was a kid. So I, I watched it online, and it's like the stupidest, dumbest, worst commercial ever. Uh, am I on the wrong side? It just w was kind of shocking that that used to be something that people liked, and like they could actually sell beer with that kind of a commercial. Like, why didn't everybody think that is, like, just the dumbest commercial? I don't think you can make a commercial like that anymore. I mean, you could, but it, would, it wouldn't help you sell beer. That's always going to help me out. It's just like the most cliched, hey, awful, going. dumbest stuff you could think of. Okay, that should be 15 minutes. For some reason, I'm five minutes short somewhere. I'll do one more, I think. <laughs> 